Hi there, it's Kathy Cates and Melissa Hines from the Institute for Pelvic Health. And you're watching Demystifying the Pelvic Floor, weekly videos providing real and simplified pelvic floor education for real clinical situations. We've got you covered. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the osmolality of lubricant and why it matters for pelvic floor health. So I know I never considered the osmolality of lubricant. Have you, Melissa? Didn't even know what it meant. <laughs> no, not until we created the Institute for Pelvic Health. And now we're taking a deep dive and it's, we, we wanted to share as we learn. So a perfect lubricant would be isoosmotic. So that means that it would have equal osmotic pressure or that the cells would have the same hydration level as the cells of the body. So ideally, you want an isoosmotic lubricant is going to be between 285 to 295. And neither one of Melissa nor I can really remember how to say the units like, so we're just going to leave that up to you guys. And if the biggest point here is that if the lubricant has a higher osmolality than the cells of the body, and it's or otherwise known as hyper osmotic, it's going to cause the body cells to push out water, right? In an effort to dilute that lubricant, sometimes causing dehydration. And that is the big take home point here. That is why it matters for yeah. pelvic floor health. Definitely. So hyperosmotic lubes can irritate the skin and cause the epithelial layer of the skin to slough off due to dehydrated mucus and leave a mucous membrane more susceptible to bacterial infections or STI. Super important. Um, if a lubricant has a lower osmolality than the cells of the body, it's called hypoosmotic and causes the cells of the body to pull water out of the lubricant. This is what happens with lotions on the skin covering most of the body. As seen on this list that we've provided with you, um, KY is not an optimal choice for lubricants. Um, we prefer slippery stuff and good clean love. Slippery stuff is a little more viscous, so it's easier for specific pelvic exams um, and good clean love is great for patient recommendations. And two key points here, I think, so, you know, there, there is some controversy, there's debate about the use of lubricant for a speculum exam. So a lot of people say to just use warm water. So we're actually talking about, we're making a distinction here. We're talking about for your pelvic exam. And the other thing to note is that as you start to dive into the research on this, the WHO has done, at least in our research, it seems like they're at the forefront of this. And they came up with a number for osmolality that they don't want the lube to go above. And I believe that number is right around 1200. So that I think puts also, you know, in very good context when you look at things like KY jelly, Astroglide, KY warming jelly, all that kind of stuff. Um, Replen, refresh, all those things that they sell at the local drugstore are all way above that threshold for the WHO. And then we can't even find like McKesson or Sergi Lube on any sort of list and definitely can't find ingredients either, um, which is just important to know. Exactly. All right. And that's a wrap. Did you like this video? If so, hit like and subscribe. Please share with your colleagues. And subscribe to our email list at instituteforpelvichealth.com to get your free guide, four tips for managing your challenging pelvic exam. You'll get access to our free weekly pelvic health content. And be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, where we'll post more pelvic health tips. We're super excited to announce we're developing an online course that we'll be launching in the fall for pelvic health for nurse practitioners. Our course will break down the pelvic floor so that you can confidently care for your patients with pelvic floor dysfunction. It's so much more than Kegel. <laughs> By simplifying the pelvic floor, we'll improve patient outcomes and your provider experience. Thanks for watching and spreading the word. Let's revolutionize pelvic health. We'll see you soon.